Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition Everybody does go. set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. 19. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They'll run it. Here's Martin. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. They give to Martin. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. third down it's Martin and he's going to get to the 31 enough for the first down they get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue well partner what do you think might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up but yeah it's a moot point now I was curious so if they didn't get it there would they have gone for it I guess we'll never know yeah we didn't have to make that call but I have a feeling both of us would have said go for it and this complete to Henry over the middle and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing again. Wilson, the quick slam caught. And he's brought down. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Penny will try to punch it in. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Rashad Penny, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Lutz now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then... The defense has the advantage. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. 
Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Jackson to throw on third down. And he comes back with one complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle all the way. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things up. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go play action with Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Edwards. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. to Martin and across midfield he goes into Raven territory he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. They've got it second and four to start things out. Here's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. The linebacker, T.J. Watt, there on the coverage. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. There's Wilson to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Martin. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Here's Marquette King now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Pass incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Ah! 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw again, Jackson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. 23 yards on the play. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy they didn't let it pop for anything bigger. On second down, Jackson. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass right, rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Jackson on first down. Forced out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Miles Jack able to run him down for a loss of a yard. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. Now Jackson on second down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Ravens on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their 38. Here's Martin as they begin on the ground. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Here's Martin. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Hey. 
Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Wilson now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Wilson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. They go back to the ground now with Penny. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he will find his man on the outside. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards on the pick up there and also a first down. And a 10th carry here for Martin. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 more on that one and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And he'll bang that one through. Lutz now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On second down, here's Jackson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. down it's Jackson going for the deep ball and it drops down incomplete thought he might have had it instead second down even without a ton of pressure in his face it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Jackson throwing again. 
Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Cameron Meredith, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens have cut it to within a score. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. The Seahawks on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. From the shotgun, Wilson. Hard throw, incomplete. All right, that one felt incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks... They'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail 7 out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line. First and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! 
So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, right, we're right there. Sick. Just look not playing as well sick. as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. Go we'll on, see if they on. can pick it up. Go they go play action here on first down. That's caught by Meredith right side. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play that time for the Ravens. 41 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson, open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Right back to him on first down. And able to work his way down to the 16. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Ravens on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Jackson on first down. Being chased out. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Miles Jack in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon.
Jackson now to throw on second down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. The Ravens on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be a tough third and 18. Jackson from the shotgun. Completes this one to Meredith. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? And yeah, nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now Wilson on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Edwards. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game. And he's got a first down. Wilson now just 8 of 16 thus far, 50%, but it's first and 10. They run, Martin, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down, Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. Everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. On second down, here's Wilson. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And avoids the contact by sliding. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Penny, a first down carry. And he's able to get this inside the ten now to the nine. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eating up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Operating from the gun, Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. As his guys are in for six. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Lutz now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seventh. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last no, time. No, no, no. Now they'll be Patrick, looking for a touchdown. Patrick. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Lutz to try to add the PAT. Lutz with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken from the seven. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly? Did you decline that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because it had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And they have the football and will take over at the 
24-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they'll run it here and give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think he may want to keep them cranking high right here. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This will be fielded at the 8. And it'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now here come the Ravens. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making them do it that way, didn't they? After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. And this time, Jackson will throw it. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. No, 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 no. Jack, Patriot, Patriot. The give is to Bell. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two. But I have a good feeling this will be coming back. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Now it's Jackson. That escapes him, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. 
from the gun, Jackson. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And it's second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on. They just play better and better. And they'll go on the ground. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. To throw is Jackson, looking to throw on second down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Ravens on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Six. This Black is third and eight. Six. Now Jackson from the gun, he'll throw. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. No, oh, I agree with you totally. No one... And it's a fumble! But I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Seattle ball. Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for Seattle. Time for a break. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for Seattle. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. 
And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And they will take a knee here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they'll indeed take a knee. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on for the fifth time here today. But Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So for the Seahawks, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 now to start this campaign. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.